Does anybody remember the very first branch mint cent? It took over 100 years for the U.S. Mint to get any of the branch mints. We're talking about New Orleans, San Francisco, et cetera, involved in making the cent, the most used coin we have in circulation, the cent. Well, the first year a branch mint was, 1908, it was that beautiful Indian. But tonight we have that and the key to the series, the 1909. Look at this pair. That's it, everybody, right there. The end of the era. And then again, in 1909 is when the Lincoln set began, correct? And it's been with us over the last 110 years. But the Indian is our first full series of small cents. The first coin made by the U.S. Mint was a large cent, about the size of a Kennedy half dollar. And they made those until 1857. Then they introduced what they call the Flying Eagle cent for two years. 1857 and 1858, and then Lady Liberty with an Indian bonnet, we nicknamed it the Indian Head Scent, came out in 1859, and it lasted 51 years until 1909. That's the last of its kind. But through all of this, Philadelphia was the only mint ever that struck, made, cents. Half cents, two cents, three cents, Copper cents, large cents, small cents, and that all changed in 1908. The coin right there on your left. Now on the bottom, kind of like the Morgan, the very, very bottom at 6 o'clock, is the Mint Mark S, San Francisco. All of these coins are beautiful, hand-selected, quality circulated coins. All homogeneous in look and feel. And this is the look and feel you're going to see. It's going to be that brownish color, right? Because that's the way a circulated scent should look. If you're seeing scents, especially this old, and they look like they were made yesterday, but they're circulated, it just means somebody dipped it out at some point. Doesn't mean they're not, there's not value tied to it, but originality is what we all know is right here. But this one, what a gorgeous look and feel, right? For a hand selected, the first two branch mint scents ever, San Francisco. When you dig down into the numbers, it just gets to be scary fun. 1908. Philadelphia struck 32.3 million Indian head cents. The San Francisco you're looking at right there, 1.1 million. My competition currently has that coin available for $335, and I'm telling you, ours looks way better. Much better quality. We're less than half their price. The 09S, here's the inside scoop on this one. Everybody misses this. In 1909, we forget the Indian was made. It was a Philadelphia and this San Francisco. And then we have the first year of the Lincolns, correct? So we have the VDB, remember? The Victor David Brenner on the bottom at 6 o'clock on the back of the coin. And there were Philadelphia and San Francisco's of that type. And then there was the corrected version, San Francisco and Philadelphia. So there was actually six cents made in 1909, right there. You know what the rarest of them all is? I'm kind of leading you into this one. The SVDB is what everybody believes is the rarest scent of 1909. I'm going to tell you, it's not even close. The 1909 S Indian is the deal. Here are the numbers, right? Just on the Indian side, Philadelphia struck 14.3. But again, that's because the Lincoln was being struck that year. So it's a lighter year. It's a premium coin. Only 309,000 of that S mint right there. That S mint mark is everything on this coin. The SVDB, by the way, if you look it up, 484,000. So almost, almost 200,000 more coins. 40% more. Yet it sells for a significant premium in the marketplace. Look at our price. We are under $500 for the first time in a real long time on this beautiful 09S, the end of the era and the rarest coin in the series. And it's the rarest coin of 1909 as well. Uniquely, the SVDB is over a thousand bucks. We all know that, and the condition is nothing like this. But if you look at not only the mintage figures, 309,000 to 484,000, you also look at population, which just is a reference for how many coins are being seen. I know these aren't certified, but we use it as a barometer. How many coins are they seeing? What have they seen 
or what have they not seen in the last 35 years? If you look at both of these, mintage goes to the Indian, but also the population report goes to the Indian. Fewer Indians have been certified in the last 35 years, which just reconfirms it's a much rarer coin. But it's also more affordable. My competition has this coin at $1,259. By that price, you might actually know who that is. We're less than half, $499.95. So how about this? The very first ever branch mint is the 1908S. A place in history, that's the first branch mint cent ever. Can't beat it. And then the rarest of the rare from 1909 is the S Indian. Rarer than the SVDB Lincoln. And here, it's the end of the era for the Indian. Not 1200 and change, 499 We're under $500 for the first time in years. And again, we find them, we price them, we bring them out next, right? Love to be able to talk about this every week. But unfortunately, we just can't because we can't find the coins. But the... Number one collectible coin in the world today is the cent, right? It's the Lincoln cents, the Wheaties, right? We can't keep wheat rolls in stock. People love the stuff. That's where most of us started our collections, and it's where we start a lot of our young'uns today, right? And a young'un can be anybody that's younger than me, <laughs> which is most of you. You find a book, you punch in there, you look. It's the great American. The coin hunt is everything, is it not? And then after the Lincoln series, it's the popular Indian head scent. Primarily because of one thing. The rarity is there. Significantly rarer than the Morgan dollars of today. Again, they've seen 3.9 million Morgan dollars in the last 35 years alone at NGC. A couple thousand of these. <laughs> yeah. Guys, let's put a one-minute clock up. Down to single digits. On the 08S, we're down to less than five on the 09S. If you have this in your shopping cart, you're going to hang around for a while. Thank you first. But second is, it's probably not going to be there in 15 minutes. So push it through, lock it down. You can always call back and say cancel it if you want, or you can always call back and add something to it if we can entice you with something else later in the show. And trust me, we're going to try. But we love the series. It's one of the more popular series out there because it's affordable. 100-year-old coins, and they're affordable. But these two are special for other reasons, and that is that's the first branch mint ever on a cent right there, the 1908S. You can't beat the topic. Thundering topic. And then the rarest coin of cent, there are six of them again in 1909, two Indians, a P and an S, two VDBs, a P and an S, and two regulars, a P and an S. But the rarest of them all is not the SVDB Lincoln, it's this one, by a couple hundred thousand coins. The other one's over a thousand, this one's not. Our competition's over a thousand, this one's not. Join me, everybody. Guys, I think it's sold out. We have to be moving on.